do you do? That is the question before you now. What do you do? It is a question asked thousands of times, both consciously and subconsciously. What do you do? Not what will you do, or what should you do, or what could you do, or even what would you do, but what do you do? First, you must face the immutable reality that you are here in this present, in this contest. And then, you must choose between the most basic of instincts in battle. Flee or fight. What do you do? And when adversity strikes, not once, but twice, what do you do? Do you rage or recommit? What do you do? For the game of cat and mouse is truly only a game for one participant. So in this game, who will you be, the cat or the mouse? What do you do? Will you implement something new or stick to the tried and true? What do you do? What do you do? Do you dare step out of character to perceive where you stand in this struggle, in the fight, knowing full well that you have to reanimate or struggle in the blight? What do you do? Do you fight for the win to win the fight? Or do you fight for respect then respect the fight? Or do you win the fight to get the respect of the fight? What do you do? What do you do? Will you do what you must, or will you do what you can? Will you do only enough, or will you do all that you can? What do you do? What do you do? Shakespeare once said, all the world's a stage. He also said, life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale 
told by an idiot, full of sound and fury signifying nothing. <laughs> well, if that's the case, strut on, baby. Strut on.